And okay, very good evening to you all. Um, in the UK, it's uh, shortly before eight o'clock in the evening. Um, wherever you are in the world, very well welcome. Nice to have you with us. Uh, it's a pity that more of you don't actually take part in the tournament because we do seem to be struggling sometimes getting uh, uh, a decent number of tables to take part. But we're going to look at the, at the four hands that you played tonight. The theme, uh, as it has been for the last week or so and will be for a few weeks, is on defence. And uh, it's quite clear that you probably need a little bit more uh, instruction on defence because uh, um, a lot of contracts made tonight that shouldn't have made. Um, but we will, we will have a look at them. Uh, as always, uh, if you have any questions or comments, please direct them to the table and we will do our best to, uh, uh, to answer them. Uh, if you send it to the table, everybody can see what they are and I will do my best and uh, they, they'll know what question I'm asking. Okay, the first board that you played is on your screen and um, the, uh, the contract with bidding was as, as given. Three passes, one strong no trump. Uh, two club stain, have you got a heart fit? And uh, two diamonds, uh, well, no, I don't have a major at all. Okay, well, I got the values, we'll bid three no trumps. And the lead, we are told, was the uh, uh, the five of spades, which was the fourth highest of the longest and strongest. Okay, then we played the nine. Now, what is Declarer's plan? Well, he's got five diamond tricks. He's got one spade trick is six, but the uh, the opposition have got a lot of spades to cash if they get the lead, and they can always get the lead with the ace of hearts. We could hope that the person that's only got three spades uh, has got the ace of hearts, or we could hope that uh, yeah, I know that too many of them may, but they may because the defence didn't get it right. So yeah, that was a trouble. Um, or they could hope that. Maybe they can persuade the opposition to unguard the clubs. And it's quite easy for them to unguard the clubs unless South knows that he needs to hang on to his three clubs to the jack and North knows to hang on to his Queen X and uh, Queen of Clubs. Otherwise, there would be a finesse position if Declare had cash one club before he'd cash all down the diamonds. That would be rather giving the game away. But there's a there's a simple ploy that the opposition can do that will make it impossible for Declare to get it right. Now, the first thing is, what should South play at trick one? Well, we've all heard about the hyenas crime of finessing against partner. And uh, I saw at least one table do exactly that. They put the jack in and uh, they think, well, partners, if partners got the, if partners got the ace, well, yeah, you must play the king. Um, because you, you, what was playing the jack gain? If Claire's got queen to three and partners got ace, queen, x, you've just, uh, ace, jet, ten, x, you've just run a trick away by putting the jack in. Don't finesse against partner unless you have a really positive reason for doing so. And that reason doesn't exist here. So the first thing is you do play the king at trick one, not the jack, okay? The player is going to duck it. And he's going to duck the second one. Now, this is where North can do his bit. He can tell partner where his entry is. I have an entry partner. This is my entry. You don't need to keep cards in this suit. So be wary of the other suits. Now, obviously, we're not going to be able to protect against the diamonds. So clubs is the only other suit that there is if partner shows values in hearts. And how does he show the values in hearts? Bearing in mind the nine of spades went from dummy, so he can afford to overtake this. Clara will can throw a club from dummy, try to muddy the waters. But now North plays a high spade back. I've got, you obviously, I haven't got something in diamonds partner, so don't count them. Of the other two suits, I have a heart entry. 
and it can only be the ace. So South is under no pressure now. <laughs> when De Clara cashes these top diamonds. So I've trusted his partner. Partner's taken the trouble to say, I've got a heart entry. Declarer throws clubs away. He's still trying to muddy the waters, trying to make you think that you don't need to hang on to clubs. He throws another one. He only needs three club tricks. When he cashes the last one, South does what his partner has suggested he does. Now Declarer can make his two club tricks. But then has to give up the ghost. If he plays a club, South will win and play a heart. If he plays a heart, North has got the remaining tricks. So this was all about telling partner which cards you need to keep. And doing so, North has said, I've got the heart. You don't need to keep the hearts protected. I can look after that. You worry about the other suits. And if uh, if that message gets over, then South will hang on to the three clubs and will uh, uh, will will take the contract off. Okay. So that's how we play. That's how we defend board one. And I don't think anybody defended it like that. And uh, I think those that made it. Um, sort of uh, were presented with a club discard. Um, if you did play the jack of spades at trick one and then played the king back, as I'm sure happened, declare North has still got a chance. North can still put the queen on that, but it's nothing like so obvious, is it? And I don't think North did on the hand the table I was watching. North played low ones and South did discard a club. And uh, that was the end. Uh, nine tricks in the bag. Okay. Any questions or comments, please, on uh, on that first board? Did anybody actually get it right? Did anybody uh, overtake the spade to say I've got a heart entry? I didn't think so, but I can't watch everybody. If I could just digress just for a second. Um, I noticed uh, on a couple of tables there were claims made uh, which were initially uh, rejected, you know, not accepted. I think it would help tremendously if you do make a claim for a lesser number of tricks than there are remaining, as if you say something like, uh, like uh, I'll give you a spade at the end or something like that, or I'll, 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 I'm going to I'll give you my two, I'll give you two diamonds at the finish. You know, otherwise people instinctively believe that you're claiming the rest of the tricks. And then it can then, then of course they reject that. They don't read it properly. They don't read that you've only claimed five when there were six left. So I think it's probably a good idea if you say, uh, um, I'm claiming five more tricks, give you a spade at the end, something of that nature, and it will speed things up a little bit. Right, do we have any more questions or comments on board one? No. Then we will move on to board two. Here is board two. And this goes past from east. Past. Past. Third bit of diamond. South bits of heart. And North says three no trumps. Okay. Yeah. And again, I don't think the defense helped themselves. The lead, we were told, 
was the two of clubs. And in fact, I noticed at one table, somebody actually led the two of spades. I don't really know how that uh, how that affected the uh, the, the result, um, but uh, it was the two of clubs that you were instructed to lead. Uh, I only noticed when I looked at it. I thought, "Hello, that doesn't look right." And uh, somebody actually led the two of spades. Maybe they misread it. But we've got the two of clubs lead. Okay, mm -hmm. and uh, South plays low. We will assume for the moment, at least. And what should West play? West should look at his diamond holding with some trepidation. He should say to himself, declare us bid diamonds. And if Declarer has got a diamond finesse to take, then it'll work. But he might need to take it twice. And if I take my king of clubs now, then he'll have two entries to take it twice. And that's really all he needs to think about. Partner's values are somewhat limited, based on the bidding so far. But if partner has, has not got anything in close. Partner's got the queen of clubs, where well, your king is not going to run away. And if Clara has got the queen of clubs, he's always got two club tricks. But he hasn't always got two entries. If we take the king of clubs... And it won't really matter what we play back. Um, spade, maybe. Let's have a look. Oh, let's, uh, let's make it the jack and spades. Let's make it a little easier. Right, so what does Declarer do now? Declarer plays the nine of clubs to the jack. Makes a successful diamond and S for S, which he has to take. He can't avoid it. Now he can overtake the Queen of Clubs with the Ace. Take another diamond for S. When that works and the suit breaks, Declarer can claim four more tricks: three diamonds and the King of Spades. So there is our. Nine tricks, easy hand, says Declarer. Right, we'll put it back to the table. <laughs> we'll just be three no trumps by north. Same lead. And this time, you can see all the cards below the four. The, the four. You can see the two, three, four. So Declarer has to overtake it. He can't stay in dummy with the five of clubs. So he has to overtake it. But now, he'll probably try the club finesse, hoping that uh, East has got the king after all. And it's fairly obvious, I think, to switch to spades now. Claire reducts it. Well, maybe he doesn't. Maybe he takes it, but it matters. Well, cross to dummy again with the club now. Signs aren't very good. His only hope, really, now is that the king is on side and it's going to drop double turn. Because he can't get to dummy again. And that's what he would try. Oh, sorry. I didn't need to play that one. Now what has Declarer got? He's got five tricks. He's got two more diamonds is seven and the ace of spades is eight. And that is going to be one off. And that is because West concentrated on what he thought were key entries in dummy. If he plays the king of clubs, he gives Declarer two entries. 
And he knows De Clare has got three clubs. Partner led the two. That would be from a four-card suit. So De Clare has got three clubs. And he's always got two club tricks anyway. So you, you haven't given away a trick, so to speak. But you did give away an entry if you played the king and trick one. Oh, this time we're claiming this as one-off. If the defence gets it right. Okay. Do we have uh, any questions or comments on board too, please? Come on, we love your questions. We love your comments. Yeah. Did I miss saving board one? I didn't think I did, but I'll have a look. Hold on. Oh, yeah, it looks like I did. All right. Um, well, I'll, I'll go back to it in a minute. Okay. Uh, is hearts not a possibility? Well, not when the not when the jack of hearts is in dummy and the, almost certainly the king. Of, the east cannot have the ace and the king. So north will have at least one of them. By the way, you'll be giving north a, a, a heart trick, I think. It's certainly a possibility, and I think it would work just as well, actually. Um, but I would be very hesitant about leading away from the Queen when I can see the Jack in Dummy. I hate leading away from Honours. I really do. Okay. Any other questions or comments? And let's have a look at board three, he say. Board three coming up. Right. Uh, are we? Oh, no, I can't find. Oh, here we go. Got it now. Right. One no trump. Pass. Three no trumps. And the lead, we are told, is the five of spades. Now, what do we make of the lead as East? What do we think partner's got? What do we think declare has got? Well, partner might have the ace. Might have the ace and the jack, it seems unlikely. I don't think South is going to be missing both of them. I think it's far more likely that West is going to have the jack of spades and North is going to have the king. And South is going to have the ace. The king we can see, South is going to have the ace. All right. But look at those clubs. Declare is going to take the club finesse almost certainly. Then he's going to, five club tricks are going to fall into his lap. All right. But, uh, if Declara does this, <laughs> and then does this, what do we make of that? And if, if South wins the spade and plays the King of Hearts, not quite as uh, good, but uh, surely East would be asking himself, why on earth is De Clara not playing on clubs? Why is he playing on hearts? And the answer is really South is trying to sneak his ninth trick before he makes the other seven. He's already made one. Let's see what happens if De Clara plays low, if he plays low rather. Made the heart trick now. Now we can play the Queen of Clubs.
run, and the Queen of Spades comes back, which De Clara gratefully takes. It doesn't matter what came back. De Clara has got nine tricks. He's got five club tricks, two spades, the heart that he's already made, and the Ace of Diamonds. So he does have nine tricks once he's made that heart trick. We will claim nine tricks. We'll put the board back to the table. And I think in many ways it's easier for the defence if South does take it with the ace, the ace of the first lead, and then leads the king of hearts. It's even more striking. Why isn't he playing the clubs? But by taking the first one in dummy and playing a heart, he's more likely to catch the defence napping. Let's have a look at it again. So we're, we're going to play three no trumps by South. I'll just bid three no trumps. There we go. Lead. This is what I would do if I was Declara. I'd go up with the King. And I would pay a heart just the same. But East should ask himself, why isn't Declara tackling the clubs? It's the obvious suit for him to tackle. And the answer is he's trying to sneak his ninth trick before he makes the others. And so he must be afraid of a suit. Which suit can it be? Well, it's not spades. We've already decided he's got the ace of spades. So presuming that he has a top heart, if we take the ace of hearts and play a spade back, uh, declare we'll take the club finesse. We won't have any spades left anyway. And then he'll have he'll, he'll make he'll make enough tricks. But if Declarer is struggling with the diamond suit, then we've got to tackle that before we lose our king of clubs. So the winning play for the defence here is to jump up with the ace <coughs> and switch to diamonds. And it doesn't really matter whether you lead the queen of diamonds or a small one, but you need partner to have something in diamonds anyway. <coughs> Declare has got no answer. Put the 10 in. Now, of course, when Declara takes the club finesse, as he has to. He hasn't got enough tricks. If he doesn't, he's got three more heart tricks and a spade and a club. Not enough. So he's going to take the club finesse. <laughs> and down it will go. And we will claim... I think it's only going one down, four. No, it's going two down. There we go. Now, really not too difficult if you think about it in that direction. Far from obvious. But you get the point. Okay. Do we have any questions or comments on that hand? No, all very shy still. Okay. Then we will move on to board four, which is the last hand from tonight. Uh, board four. <laughs> As you may have seen, Pat thinks these questions are hard. Right, board four, one no trump, three spades by east, the old way. All made again. Hmm, I wonder why that is. Maybe the defence didn't quite spot 
the defense they should have found. Let's give you the auction. Uh, one no trump by West. Strong no trump. And we're taking this back quite a long time. I think most days nowadays, people would bid two in the transfer to spades and then bid three no trumps or something of that nature. But uh, in the days we're talking about East bids, I've got a good spade suit. I wouldn't call it that good, but there you go. This is the auction we were given. And West bids four spades. I don't think any of you would have argued with the leader of the Queen of Hearts. Okay. Now, let's have a look at it from South's point of view. Um, especially when he wins in dummy, in his hand rather, and runs the jack of spades. Because that's the obvious thing for him to do. And your partner's in. What would you expect your partner to play back? Heart is not looking very productive because partners bid, led the hearts and um, singleton king in dummy. It looks like declarer can afford to rough hearts if he needs to. If you're going to make more defensive tricks, then you're going to make the king of clubs. You're not going to make any hearts. You need to make two diamonds. You can't make anything else and take this contract off. You're not going to make more than one club. You're not going to make any more hearts. You need to make two diamond tricks. So the obvious thing to do from North's point of view is to play a diamond back. Which diamond do we play? Well, that depends on whether you play strong tens or not. Um, if you're not playing strong tens, then me personally, I would lead the eight of diamonds back. The second highest from a bad suit. Um, if I'm playing strong tens, I'd still lead the eight back because the nine would promise the ten. But if I'm playing top of nothing, then I would lead the nine back. What matters is I lead the highest diamond I can according to my system that won't confuse partner. Right? So I need partner to recognise I won't have anything significantly higher than the card I'm leading. So we'll assume for the moment that they're playing top of nothing, so he leads the nine. The Clara puts the king on. The instinctive reaction is for South to take the ace. But let's think about it. Mm. We should duck, says Pat. Yes, you're right, because we need two diamond tricks. We can see partner's going to have to have the king of clubs for us to have any chance. But that will be the king of spades and the king of clubs and the ace of diamonds. And the rest of the clubs will provide the winners. So we've got to be in a position to take two tricks when partner uh, takes the king of clubs. If we take the ace of diamonds now, We'll only make the king of clubs and we won't make any more diamond tricks. But if we duck it, partner knows we need two diamond tricks. Clara's going to draw trumps now. Can he get back to hand if he draws trumps? Mm, that's a dodgy thing, isn't it? Maybe he should have played a spade to the queen to start with. Let's undo that. Let's assume that he takes the club finesse now. And now a second diamond from Nor. Doesn't matter which one. Declarer plays. Result in the fourth defensive trick. So all South needed to do, because I'm fairly sure North would have played a diamond back when he was in with the King of Spades, was to duck the first diamond. He should hope that his partner will recognise diamonds is the only source of tricks. So even if you don't take your ace, he's still got to play another one when he gets in with the King of Clubs. Again, I don't think really that's so difficult. But I know myself, 
Defense is the most difficult part of the game. A, you need a partner that's on the same wavelength as you, and you have to see the problems coming. Claim, please, and i got to go back. I'm going to uh, claim this as minus one, and I need to go back to ten board one and claim that for you. But do we have any other questions or comments on uh, on board four? Any questions about any or uh, any of the boards or anything yourself? Uh, tomorrow night, um, there will be the usual session on, uh, again, in the ACO Club uh, lesson room. Um, with Alan starting around about quarter to eight, I hopefully will join him around about nine o'clock. I will take over from him where you just play and uh, and um, play the random hands. They're not fixed in any way. And then Alan or myself, occasionally assisted with Adam, uh, will discuss both the bidding and the play and suggest things that you might have been able to do better. And I'm sure Alan will have his Thursday night class as well. I think he was. Uh, I think he was looking at Levenstone last week. I'm not sure what he's looking at this week, but if you come and join us tomorrow night, I'm sure he'll tell you. Um, 